So it's a choice to respond with faith or fear to giants. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is check your choices. And the anchoring scripture is still Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Today we want to look at David, the young David and King Saul. We see faith versus fear. You know, this life is an uphill task. We will face tough or difficult or challenging times like we are facing now. Just like anything good, you know, takes a fight. You know, it's often said that no, no gain without pain. So nothing of value is free. There are many obstacles in our pathway of destiny. And there are many giants that may show up in our path of life. So how you react to them determine how far you go in life. The giants are there to intimidate us to prevent us from enjoying God's best and even to prevent us from moving or fulfilling our purpose. So it's a choice to respond with faith or fear to giants like sickness, debt, unemployment, relationship issues, delays, and the list continue. In 1 Samuel 17, uh, there is an interesting narrative there. How a giant called Goliath showed up with his unique physical strength to crush the Israelite. His height was nine feet and nine inches. And he used negative words as a tactic to instill fear. In verses eight to nine, then he stood and cried out to the armies of Israel and said to them, why have you come out to line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? And you the servant of Saul, choose a man for yourself and let him come down to me. If he's able to fight with me and kill me, then we'll be your servant. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servant and serve us. Saul and Israelite, King Saul and Israelite were afraid. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. But David stepped in. He chose faith instead of fear. In verses 31 to 32, Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and he sent for him. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. So Saul was even afraid for David. Because in verse 33, and Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. You see, faith is not a matter of age, fame, sight, or gait. It is a function of your depth in God. Faith is complete trust and confidence in God. David exercised complete confidence in God. His faith was strong. It was steadfast, active and powerful. You know, faith does not believe on the circumstances, but the report of God. Nothing is substitute for faith. I want you to choose faith, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. Thank you.